Thank you, man. I appreciate that's that. true. And I'm from, that's my bad for disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I don't know. It's been a while. Never actually. been. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember the last time. Like, <laughs> thanks, man. I don't remember the last time anyone's ever hit on me in my life. I honestly, I'm like, I look behind me. No, I'm kidding. Thanks, bro. God damn. Damn. Hey. Saturday. <laughs> Man, bro. Saturdays are for the boys. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the Surface Way Podcast, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Monday happy, happy Monday. Monday. Who sings that song? Mama's and the Papas. Damn, dude. Yeah. Shout the M's and Not P's. their best song, though. No? Nope. Uh, what is their best song? California Dreaming. How's that song go? He's like, Stop that boot church. I'm going to be in the way. Be like, California, California, Your girls. Dreaming. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going Katy Perry for a minute. Dude, funny thing about Katy Perry. What? Shout out to my sister Cadence when she was born. Uh, we were taking her home from the hospital. Her first song, I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry. Wow. And then my parents like, fuck. And they like, you know, they oh, close the ear. Oh, that's legendary. And then they start playing classical music. <laughs> that's a legendary <laughs> move. I know. I'm like, damn. Maybe you should call her Cadence Perry. <gasps> Whoa. You never thought about Cadence that? Cadence Perry. Wow. Cadence Perry Pacheco. Oh. Cadence Katie Perry. No, I mean, now Broad again, though. She's oh, bro- she's, oh, she's bro- Broad. She's the Broad again. <laughs> oh, shout out to the Broad again. The Broad again. Oh, oh, Broad again. Dude, I remember calling Dylan Chodigan. Oh, God. Shout out to Chodigan. And how do you feel about that? <laughs> Dude, that's a legendary name. <laughs> Chodigan. I love it. And if I saw him, I'd call him just, just for funsies. Uh, like, how would you, what would your, like, last name Irish it's be? A, it's oh, seven. Oh, like, do you like, oh, Harris. Oh, Harris. Yeah. Ocheco. Oh, yeah, Ocheco. Ovantes. Oh, Ovantes. Or you could just do the full last name, but then put oh, O. Oh, that's O Cervantes. Yeah, that's O Cervantes. <laughs> What's my lucky charms? Oh, that'd yeah. be crazy. That'd be cool to be a leprechaun. Dude, would it, though? I, it would, because you could, I mean, then again, you might be stressed the whole time. Is, as a as a leprechaun, are you on the constant search for gold, or are you always protecting the what gold? What do you do for, like, yeah, what do you do for your spare time? Chill, like chill, and like play video the games gold is like your best friend. Like, so you don't only care about the gold in life. Yeah. Oh, like what if gold's down in stock and like you gotta get silver? <sighs> Dude, I don't think that's a thing. That's a no. They Not only love gold. Remember, like, what uh, if they take people's gold records? Even. Whoa. See. Damn. Well, like, think of. Uh, remember that movie, Luck of the Irish. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that, a fire movie. I know, fire movie. That guy, that kid, that actor, Smart House and yeah. Luck of the Irish. That's a that, good. That movie made me want to be Irish so bad. Me too. And like still play like beat decent at basketball. And those Maybe cool like there. Highland games they play. Like yeah. I wanted to wear a kilt so bad. And the leprechaun looked very scary. He wasn't. Oh, they're a dude. tall leprechaun. Yeah. Wasn't? Yeah. But only no. Because when they lose their luck, then they like oh, they, then they get see, shorter. Yeah. I mean, that you know which one I'm getting mixed up is the ultimate Christmas present where the elves are tall. Oh yeah, yeah. Which, and that ultimate Christmas that's the one with like the snow machine, right? Yeah. The, oh, that's a banger too. Then you know what though, getting older, I don't know the more I would want to skip school now. I want to skip school all, all day. the time. Okay. Oh yeah, bro. I mean I'd use it now for like work. Work? Oh, I dude, if I could make a blizzard so I could miss an work, ultimate, oh, my, oh, the oh, ultimate dude. life present. <laughs> 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 Just go everywhere. But like be like uh, like you don't want to go to like uh, for some reason like a family's, you know, reunion or something. Oh yeah. Or, like uh, uh just a barbecue, but I like, can't it's snowing. They're like, no, it's not. I would mm-hmm. ruin like the Earth's ecosystem because Jesus, like I would just villain. make it snow and like <laughs> say like middle of summer like I just don't want to go to work like oh dude it's oh my god yeah. it's a blizzard do you want to see it snow it's in July second Ec- there's a blizzard yeah that'd be romantic you take your wife and be like you want to see it snow in Ecuador <laughs> <laughs> and it's like really nice like yo watch this yeah well, I mean if you could control any type of element what would it be like if you're like a wind be- like bender or whatever I feel like oh dude what element would I bend yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think I would for sure be like an earth bender. You do Earth? Oh, yeah, dude. Dang, you go hard on Earth. Earth, Earth <laughs> I'd go so hard on Earth, dude. <laughs> I like Earth, but it's the sickest because, like, it's, like, metals, too. Like, once, like, you they upgrade or, like, up whatever, like, they could bend metals and stuff. That's like, true. I mean, Earth then again, is, like, think if you're in the ocean, you could bring the Earth to rise you to the top real quick. Oh, dude, yeah. That's true. Earth bending, I think, is the most fire. But, fire like, if you're, a wind, if you're a wind bender, you could fly. <laughs> That's true. Hmm. Hmm. But then Earth, you could kind of like ride the waves oh, of dude, the ground, I, would just, I guess. I like, I would, like how they like throw those rocks yeah, out and run around. Yeah, that's cool. Run way. 
not athletic enough that to means run you the rocks. S- I'd walk on them for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I always want to do that. I always think I can, like on MXC, whatever that Spike TV show, oh, dude, the Japanese most show. extreme elimination. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Gay. <laughs> that's so good. And I'm Kenny Blankenship. Yeah, Kenny Blankenship. Oh my god, uh, dude, good. I'm locked at memory. That I show know that's fucked. <laughs> I know it's a good. If you guys haven't seen it, it's on. I think it's on Hulu now or Is it? Netflix. Yeah, but you could just look up MXC. Is it MXC? Yeah, or, most okay. extreme. Yeah, okay. But, MX. It, but it's like an old 80s Japanese show. They like redub. They dubbed, dubbed yeah. yeah. And then they just do the most outrageous thing. Shout yeah. out Spike too. Oh, damn, dude. That's so good. You ever watch like A Thousand Ways to Die? Yeah, I watched that show too. Then like I'd seen like someone just earth bending in that show. <laughs> and <then> someone <laughs> died on that show. <laughs> I saw a guy get hit by a meteor like at a birthday party. Oh my God. Like, that's the worst way to die. I and think that's the most fire. Time. That show used to scare me, though. I mean, you ruin that person's birthday for the rest of their lives. Yeah, and you hate meteors. Mm-hmm. Actually, dang it, to this morning there was supposed to be, uh, you could see Haley's comment a little bit. And that's like every, there's a Haley's comment or Haley's comment? Haley. Haley Berry's comment. <laughs> <laughs> but you get like, you see, um, you're, you're supposed to be like little C of the trail ends of it. But, but I think it's only like every 70 years, right? As you imagine, like you're like at your back door, like the blinds open, like butt naked, like look well, at. If it hits your back door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your girlfriend comes like, what are you doing? I'm looking at Halle Berry's comment. She's like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> like, I swear to God. It You're is. like, go back to bed. Oh, you never dude. understand me. <laughs> you never understand me. No, I think my my element, though, I think I'd go fire. Mm, it's crazy. Shout to, what's this? You're, Zuko, right? Yeah, yeah. And But think of it. You're out in the middle of nowhere and just light up fire for cold. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't, don't know. know. You, it's. I Yo, think you have to have two. Hold on, jinx. I know. I, it. I owe you everything. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me whole life. Before <laughs> I get into the but like you, uh, I think you have to do two elements. Then you're good. Yeah. So I'd go fire. And what if I do contra- I do water too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You'd be wind and what? No earth. I mean earth, earth and wind and fire. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your powers only happen on September 21st. Yeah. <laughs> Do cool. you remember? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Dude, that would be sick. Oh, for um, have you seen just to switch things real quick? Have you seen that close up ant? Oh my god, that I terrifying, hate it, dude. Not your ant like Jemima, like but you got your ant <laughs> yeah. like your freaking. The, it's crazy. The insect. Yeah, that thing looks like the devil. Wait, do you say ant or aunt? I say before we continue. Oh, I go my aunt. Yeah, aunt for sure. I think it's like the more you go east, they say aunt. Maybe auntie even auntie. That's kind of fun. Auntie, auntie is not as fun. That's just like. poker. <laughs> Annie yeah. up. Annie up. Annie up. Okay. Annie up. <laughs> Annie. That song. Do you? How, what do you? How do you say it? Aunt. aunt. No, I say aunt. 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 I say the aunt. Aunt's British. This is my aunt. This is my aunt. You don't like some tea and crumpets. Yeah. This with is my, my aunt. aunt. My aunt. You can't do aunt in a British accent. Hello. It doesn't work. It's my aunt. <laughs> nope. Doesn't work. Ain't it? It doesn't sound. British mm. people always, when they talk, it's so intelligent. Yeah, <laughs> so proper. They, so, sure. they, so yeah, it's proper. Yeah. So yeah, aunt. My aunt. My aunt. But that the insect. Yes, though. the insect. Back to the insect. That the ant's face is so scary, dude. It looks like the real devil. So like they they it's it's it is real because they didn't like um, it was a contest, right? But they actually drew like what would an ant's face would look like. Um. But that's it's freaky. Wait, but so that's not a real life picture I, of an no, ant face. No, I think I think it is. Like, okay. or it's like the most close as you get, like microscopic. But like, I wanted to do a very uh, out of nowhere list of the top five scary little insect on mess, like messes with the faces. Oh, yeah. Nick's picks of top five. <laughs> Nick's top five <laughs> picks of scary insect face. Here we go. Number five, longhorn beetle. Mm. Look, I need you guys to look these up because these are very frightening, though. Like they look like a. How would you say it? Just very. Like messed up, <laughs> like <laughs> something like not even a mother could love. Like they're just very scary. Damn. Yeah, these longhorn beetle. I look like it has. It's just the eyes on every insect. They just freak me out. You know. Oh, I just thought of a spider. Number four, a Shabba. cricket. <laughs> look up a cricket's face. Scary. Wait, hold on. After you saw the ant's face, you went on a deep dive of looking at insect faces. Yeah. Nice. Because <laughs> like you never like it's true. Like what would because. We see like everything has to have a face, te- mm-hmm. not technically, but like a worm, you know. Like, uh, you just see a little mouth or something. They have like those like all those like teeth things. Ew, dude, yeah, yeah. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like microscopic, like it looks frightening. And uh, what's crazy is like when you think about like an like an ant or like a worm, like in our like mm. big body selves, like you're not afraid of a worm. But if we were their size, that thing is fucking a terrifying. slug. <laughs> yeah. A really snail? Peaked. A snail would be scary as hell. Ew, dude. And you're stuck in a little residue. Slimy, stuck yeah. and you just die there. Yeah. It's nasty. They're a little just do. <laughs> <laughs> Shallow we are. Uh, number three, a lassio glossum on a thyri. Excuse uh, me? It's a bestiary. 
What'd you call me? <laughs> I, I should have said, so this is, it's a B. It's a type of B. It's a Lacio, Lacio Glossum on a There. <laughs> Mm -hmm. that, you know that ranch you know? It's going to be on the surface <laughs> wave uh, spelling bee. So we better get ready. <laughs> that ranch of iridosiclitis. <laughs> iridosiclitis. I kissed the girl and I liked it. Iridosiclitis. <laughs> now shout out to Cadence Perry. Shout <laughs> Cadence Perry. But yeah, it's a, I looked this up too. It's a straight up form of horror movie. It's just very uh, scary. Number two, a bed bug. Uh, yeah. I like that's Have you ever experienced bed bugs? Um, no. I think I have once. Like but it's I, scary. it's like, is that like making myself like my dirty person? No, like so I had like not per I have at like one of my old jobs I did, and like what's crazy is like take it, get rid of them. Like they have to like purge the whole house because like they could be hiding anywhere, whatever. Mm. They like seal off all the doors, and then they like heat the house like eight hundred degrees or something to kill everything. Oh, inside. whoa! Wait, yeah. So if you have like collectibles, you're like I gotta take out my baseball cards and stuff. Like no, you have to leave them in. Oh. I'm kidding. I don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like the seducer, like an agent. No. You're like, keep, keep it in. No, I have, to, I have to melt everything. I'm sorry. That's interesting. It's always heat, you know? I think if you're a firebender, you just kill everything. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. Damn. Maybe that's the most OP one. <laughs> no, I think you're I think you're good on the earth. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to take it back this time. I will stay with earth. You're just going to stay. You're going to be like, text me later. Like, hey, Nick. <laughs> yeah, you I know what we talk about? <laughs> the thing about being an earthbender, I can bring diamonds out of the floor. Like, whoa, whoa that's right? true. Bring yeah. out treasures. Mm hmm. You know, you're getting a little, you're warming up to me. Man. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to take it back. But yeah, a bed bug, this very disgusting though, because it's just, yeah, it's, you're going to sleep. I'm always scared that something's going to crawl in my ass or my ear at night. Oh yeah, that's well, those are two places you don't want anything to be. Nothing. Unless you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real though, like I'm always scared, like, but my butthole's so tight, nothing's getting in there. Prove it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> See how many things I can stick in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, an ant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that, well, that thing is like it looks like I said, looks like a legitimate devil. It looks like it's one so of those scary. Yeah, like a, a alien in like a Marvel movie. Like oh, a weird. God, I, just, like, I just thought about it, then almost died. I know, but then again, it looked like you were almost climaxing. Too. <laughs> 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 you're, you're just like faces. But that is Nick's picks of the top five scariest Nick's insects picks. with faces. Oh, dude, that's so scary. Because nothing, anything without a face is just scary in general. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. I'm just saying shit. <laughs> Another scary face, the guys that's like, uh, we're like wearing those like brown masks from the strangers. Oh, scary, yeah. That's speaking scary. of scary faces. Sometimes like simplicity, like you just have to have a little mouth and eyes and it's just <laughs> It scary, could be you know? spooky enough. Like the sack boy off trick or treat. Yes. That's, yeah. that's exactly what I'm talking about. Or another scary face, uh, that uh, demon face, Darth Maul from Insidious. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I scary. have to do Nick's top five picks of scary faces. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Cause like, well, cause the sack boy, like spoiler, so if you haven't seen it already, but like when he takes off the sack, he, his like face is even scarier. Yeah. Like Jason Voorhees. Yeah. And I trust me, it's not as bad. Like I know I see sack boy and it's not a boy taking out a sack and stuff. Like it's just legit. He's taking off a sack mask. The more, when you, every time you say sack boy, my mind goes to Ed and Eddie thinking about Ralph. <laughs> sack Ed boy. He's a sack boy. <laughs> <laughs> you dance on the son of a shaman. Uh. No, Sack Boy. I mean, not top. He's not the top Sack Boy, though. Number one is PlayStation 3, Little Big Planet. Oh, yep. Sack mm. Man, even. Sack Man. <laughs> I can't. You'd grow from a Sack Boy to Sack Man. <laughs> sack this Boy evolves sack. to like, oh, shit. Sack Man. <laughs> Who guesses Pokemon? <laughs> That'd be great. It's Pikachu. Uh, no, I mean, oh, that meme. that's a, no, but just like scary fate. Like, that's, you know, when something's really scary, when a, a very scary thing's hiding behind the mask already. Ugh. Like, they know they're. Pretty messed up. Like, yo, you don't want to see us behind this mask, fam. It's like uh, uh, the boogeyman on Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm. Like, those bugs are way more creepier than his little sack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so much sack talk. <laughs> sack talk. We're just, you know, sack. Welcome to the sack podcast. Yeah, we got shop talk. We got sack talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sack attack. Sack's just a funny word, man. Mm. All right, top five things to say while you say sack. First one, ball sack. <laughs> Uh -huh. Second, sack. sack and a football, you know, oh, sack and a quarterback. Sack. Yeah, yep. I like nut sack more even. <laughs> you know what I mean? You no, know, good nut sack's funny. <laughs> That's ball sack's like professional British. Mm -hmm. nut sack's oh, it's American. American. It's American. <laughs> oh, hit him right in the ball sack. Yeah, hit him ball sack. If you, if you say nut sack, like come on, you're trying. Oh, here, sack boy, sack boy, sack boy, um, junk boy, sack attack, sack attack. Oh, that's that's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, shout out Jared Allen when his when he sacks someone he. 
I'll let you guys look it up, but it's, I don't know if it's YouTube appropriate. Okay, <laughs> it's banned. <laughs> I mean, that's a dope celebration, though. Dude, <laughs> it is an it, it is an all time silly. Yeah. Just let me know. It's just let you guys know. It's like think it's kind of funny. It's kind of it involves a sack basically after a sack when you get Ooh. sacked. Yeah, think about that. This is the most sacked episode we've I'll, ever had. <laughs> sack it up. We're sacked up. By the way, shout out to the Eagles of football, basically. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a banger. Thank you, thank you. That is a fire poncho, dude. Shout out, okay, so the reason why I'm wearing this poncho, too, because the Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, yes. hashtag fly, Eagles fly. But, like, mm -hmm. um, they're 6-0. They have a bye week. And I'm, I'm not the one to brag, really, because I get too scared to brag sometimes. So I'm just like... Enjoying the team because they could go six and thirteen and I'd be okay. <laughs> That'd be sick. After that, you know, but like, which is still I hate the six and thirteen now, like six and twelve. Like yeah. six and twelve sounds so much better. Like the an eight and nine team doesn't sound right. It's kind of weird. Yeah, eight and eight was so cool. Eight and eight sounds good. Or like a six. Or like I had my record so aligned, but now I have to switch everything up. Mm. Like, it doesn't look right. You know, what you should brag about the Eagles. You let your sack out. Just they let my sack. I let my sack out. Sack sacks fly. <laughs> Fly sacks fly. <laughs> oh, a fly sack. Oh, wait, no, that's a fly ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, still, though. Almost sack. there. Speaking of fly balls, <laughs> RIP the, the Mariner Mariners. season. Yeah. yeah it, was, it was a fun ride, dude. It was amazing. Yeah. Broke the drought of 21 years in the making. That's nuts. Like, I was six years. No, I was eight years old the last time they made the playoffs. Yeah, dude. That, how cool is that? And then we got to watch it happen again. And uh, shout out. Actually, not shout out. <laughs> F the Astros, bro. Whoa. We hate the Astros. Oh, yeah. I was about to say, wow. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know Astros oh, was following that. I we hate them so much, bro. Yeah, but we love Houston. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> we might. Unless, if you're listening to Houston, then what's up? Bro, <laughs> what's up? My very first Mariner game ever I ever went to, we're, they were playing the Astros. Oh, really? And that oh. was the most fun experience of my life because, like, that was they're coming off the year they won the World Series with cheating. And it's like, oh, oh bro. Altuve, Which is still crazy they got away like, with that. Altuve comes to the plate. Dude, the whole stadium is ch is booing dude it's the loudest boo i've ever heard and everyone's like cheater damn it was amazing and he's like so easy because he looks like a leprechaun i hate all tv so much dude <laughs> shot to all tv going like oh and like 15 yeah what's up with that like that's the the dumbest part too like of course he sucks and they still win it's like mm, know, like dude. you know if he was like good it would been like all right well like he even sucks so you like, had it not I yeah, we, he had a yeah, chance well two base like Picture it, all two base having a horrible series. Like, oh, we're gonna win this. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's not. Because like, let's not like his skills are good, right? Oh yeah, he's like he's he really good. So he's like Steph Curry having a bad game, and you, that you, but you still lose to the Warriors because you're like shit. Everyone Damn. has to step yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. And like, so like back to that game too. Like it was so fun because like, there was like one guy like in like a couple rows ahead of us like wearing an Astros jersey. Uh, this like drunk dude next to me was like, "Hey, Astros fan, you're a cheater!" <laughs> Damn. I mean that we were having so much fun. Hit the. Yeah. Trash cans and stuff. We were having so much fun calling the Astros fans cheaters, dude. It was the How most amazing experience of my life. I mean, oh, the s same with the Padres, right? They got a little something on their ear. Like the first, the first postseason series, or um, like they had like that. The guy's ear was like glowing of like a substance because his speed, his speed rate was going something like that. Oh, I don't so know he was like about using baseball. a bad substance yeah, to help him pitch. But then the manager goes out there and they didn't find anything. But I guess like it's an unwritten rule to like if you're cheating. Like, you don't, you still can't go up to say, like, check them, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, what the hell is that all about? Like, if you're cheating, I'd go tell you, hey, what's up? Yeah, what's going on here? If someone was, if you see someone's ear glowing, like, while you guys are like the diamond cutters, right? And yeah. you, like, see someone cheating, you're going to talk to them. 1,000%. <laughs> but I just thought that was a weird thing. Like, I hate un old rules. I hate that. Like Yeah, like, uh, the Mariners rookie got in trouble for, like, hitting, like, a grand slam or a home run. Yeah. When they were already up, like, 17 runs, like, and then everyone hated him for a minute. <sighs> See, that's so dumb. Flipping a bat. No, I don't. I put the bat right between my ass cheeks and walk like oh, 100%. Yeah. I'd be the most disrespectful. I am so I'm mad. flipping the bat at the pitch. I'm throwing right at him. Hit I'm a home run, find, and then I throw the bat. I'm trying to find the families, it. like, they're the players families in the stands and throw the bat at them oh yeah like the old like resting like dx crotch chop to the yeah. pitcher suck it and then like you see the brand names like everyone sack up mix that play <laughs> <laughs> dude you get your free sack out the door it's like a handy like imagine like you're being like the most disrespect like your brand is the most disrespectful yeah. M or mlb player actually i want the most disrespectful mlb team oh that'd, that'd be, be sick cool. too they don't we're I'll, just like talking trash. Yeah, the they don't care. Time. Like no, they, they f your rules. Yeah, f your rules. Basically, f your old one hundred and twenty year old rules. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hmm. Let's get. Let's become billionaires. And okay, that's a good start. <laughs> start one. Step how, one. How are we gonna get there though? It doesn't what's, matter. What's, what's our business? Scheme? Whatever it takes. That we're just gonna get there. Hmm. Only, only okay. Fans. So we'll start OnlyFans. Step one. Step two. We gotta make our own. Become billionaires. Beat What'd you say? What's that? Beat 
Okay. Oh. Feet Finder. Feet Finder. Okay, oh. well, it's just a, a couple avenues to bring in all this mm. revenue. How oh. to. Mm. And then become billionaires. Step three, buy an MLB team. Because you can't. What if we did an expansion team? Oh, that'd be sick too. But then again, I mean, still the Idaho's just not showing the numbers, you know? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I think that's, what, that's what makes it most fun. Like, say we started a, an expansion team in Idaho, then we like to build our brand. We just become the most disrespectful yeah. team in MLB. Ooh, well, actually, instead of MLB though, would our lane be better like in a Triple A league or something like that? Yeah, or like we like Who, who's the guy that dances? The bananas. Okay, Savannah, Banana. Savage Bananas, Savage and Savannah, Georgia. Okay, okay. So we oh, that'd be kind of fun like too. That. But they're like the more like the uh, globe trotters. I feel like. Like they oh, do a bunch really? of games. It's still fun. Wait, are they a legit team? No. Well, yes. Oh. I think so. Is it? So it's No, like, I don't think they are. I think they play like two or three teams and like it's like full of the antics. Like they're oh, just like messing around the whole so that's time. that's like a fun, ba- it's a legit like. Yeah, it's just like the Globetrotters what but the for hell? baseball. I have you seen that. that? Have you seen that? The pitch that pitches like, on stilts? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, I was going to say like this is kind of getting too ridiculous. I don't think yeah. they could actually allow this. Yeah. So he pitches on that st- his stilts and like the guy at bat hits it right between his stilts. Oh, that so that's cool. Yeah. It's like, but they're sold out all the time. That's sweet. See, we could do something like that then. Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe that's the way. Mm-hmm. We just have to like make an expansion team and we get invited into their league. Yes. Yes. We'd be like, um, what's the semi-pro? See, the problem is, like, you also have to be good at baseball. It's like, we'd have to find people to play. Yeah, that's true. Or, I mean, like, what's the new sport? Pickleball? Mm. But then again, we no, we, we, want to, we want to do disruptive stuff, though. We want to shake it up. Yeah, wait, Pickleball's can, already cool. Where we can be disrespectful. Yeah. I mean, like, golf. <sighs> that, we could talk the whole time when people are swinging. You suck! <laughs> <laughs> jackass. <laughs> you will not make this putt, you jackass. That'd be cool, though. I think golf would be fun. Uh, bowling. Mm-hmm. We could oh, go to, like, damn. oh, a chess. We go chess, like, tournament. But it's super because everyone's like super focused, but we're like extra loud. Yeah, we're like, woo! Like, I'm so just picture me playing chess against like this, like the world champion chess yeah. player. Like, he's super focused, but I'm like, every time he's going for like his move, I'm just like crunching a Dorito. Yeah, <laughs> or like, we're like, defense. <laughs> How's the other person's D- like, D- right? D- defense. Yeah, that'd be tight. Oh, that'd be sick. A bunch of shirtless men like defense signs. <laughs> Your bishop sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> shit's weak. Crush him. You're going to crush him. I love you, Jimmy. <laughs> just like a number one fan. Damn. That's my favorite My favorite fan off of Blades of Glory. He's like, I love you, Jimmy. I can't wait to wear your skin. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Swartz. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Yo, Blades of Glory is a, a slip down movie, I feel this, like. The fire. Michaels, Michaels. John Michael, Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> What's it mean? Nobody knows what Nobody it means. Be. I like when it's he's provocative. thrown up in his mascot. Like when he's oh, the, my God. Even he's on ice. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, you came under my bridge. <laughs> just like, it's so nuts. Well, Phil always plays that awesome. Just, I always want to know, I, I, did he have like an appendix surgery or anything? Remember that? Every time he's he had that scar. He has like tum- a scar, right? Mm-hmm. I need to look it up. I, I'm sure it's just like he hurt himself. Or he got stabbed. What if it's like cool. way more dark than you think it is? Yeah. It's just like, I'm crying <laughs> as I'm reading it. It's just dark history. Oh, poor Will Ferrell. I know. Will Ferrell. Man, something about, I need to go on a Will Ferrell marathon. It's like, well, what's your favorite Will Ferrell movie? Mm. What's the my favorite underrated movie is Kicking and Screaming. I love that movie. That like, look, it. we made, get on his shoulders and make a superhuman. What's his name? Is it Bon Son? Is it Bon Son? Beyond Son. Beyond Son. He's like, he's like, <laughs> <on his, laughs> the cup on his knees. Like, stop it. <laughs> when he like, gets addicted to coffee, hilarious. Yeah, bro. that's a that's a banger. It's a good movie. But like Will Ferrell, though, I the only other one I've seen though that was like not mainstream was the Everything Must Go, mm-hmm. and he plays like a. Well, Drunk? What about the one where he own the whole movie's in Spanish? Casa uh, de see, I never watched that. Is that good? It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah, it's how's actually his, good. How's his Spanish? It's actually really good too. <laughs> like he did his research. Wow, that sounds and it's completely in Spanish. Yeah, the whole thing is in Spanish. That's very, that's really brave too to do a whole movie like, <laughs> like how he's like just gonna go with it. You that's know? such a Will Ferrell thing to it do. It could be a flop because like what's the his detective one sucked ass. Um, Hans and no, not not Shobbs, not. But um, <laughs> it's the one with John C. Riley though, and they're uh, he's playing. Oh, Sherlock. Yeah, Sherlock. Ha- Holmes and Holmes and Watson. Ready. Watson and Holmes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't know what. It, Thank you. Either way, it's that stepping. way. That's what I'm saying though. It's un- it was forgettable. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like the other guys. Absolute banger. You know what's funny though? I still haven't watched that movie. Come like, on, bro. That's like I'm eighty gonna... years old at this point. No, I love the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. You don't think it. Th- Aim for the bushes. Well, I get I get so sad because everyone like has references. I'm like, I don't get it. Come on, bro. I know. 
You know, it's funny though. I I watched it with my family and we turned it off like halfway. Why? They just didn't think it was funny. Damn. And I didn't laugh because of their energy, so I blamed them. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you know you get rally with your family if they hate something. You kind of not hate something, but you're like, yeah, I don't know if I f with this. But, but like low key, you're like, I love that. But energy, so yeah, it's like I love it. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, it's Musa, and like everyone's like, gay. I'm like, yeah, that's because right. in, in my head, like when Will Ferrell's like, he's like, I dare you. He's like, actually, um, like when he. Tells Mark Wahlberg about like how you can't kill me because you're on land and I'm. Oh like, yeah, because he's, he's like if I was lying, lying yeah. and you're a tuna. Yeah, and I'm like laughing in my head. Like, That's funny. And then I'm looking around and my family's like, "This is fucking stupid. This movie sucks." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, like ah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it does suck, yeah. huh, guys. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you should start saying left. <laughs> that sucks. Left, right? <laughs> that right? sucks. Left, 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 right, left. <laughs> so now I'm confused when I say that left, right. Like I just want to say right. right so see, bad. See to start make oh, another thing too. If like someone knocks over, I'm like, dude, that was my second answer dead stool oh that's a good one <laughs> they dude. just throw people off it's, it's really I'd, fun you know what's the problem with that is like if i was at your house and you said that i'd believe and i'd feel so i know bad. i say i make a lot of people uncomfortable all the time that's my super that's my superpower thing. yeah that's my superpower that makes like the mo- like a dictator so i could just make them just like uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> spend a day you went to make a wish just like one day with kim jong-un <laughs> oh my god could <laughs> you, you imagine <laughs> <laughs> like do you really what would be questions be like do you really poop can i See your non butthole. Oh, I didn't say sack. He just kills you. <laughs> oh, that'd be scary. Well, you're gonna die anyways, right? So it doesn't really. I don't matter. think so because Dennis Robin chills with him. You know. Oh, that's right. What an odd friendship. <laughs> what did you say, Nicky? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they're like best friends. Yeah, he's like you do do like how he talks. He's like you gotta take a work, dude. Kim Jong Un. And I'm like, damn, oh yeah, because like he has that real like raspy like like a very deep like voice. he needs to clear his throat. Like if you heard him. At night, like in your room, that's very scary. Best He's a boogeyman. The, hey, boogeyman the rock. I'm yeah. Like, what? Go to, get out of here, Dennis. Yeah, <laughs> Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> get out, Dennis. Rod Why are you wearing a fucking wedding yeah. dress? Rodman's a hard rap name. Rodzilla. Though. Rodzilla. Oh, dude. Rodzilla. That doesn't sound. That kind of sounds sus, almost. Yeah. Well, I don't have it. Like my name, I can't like fit any cool things with, dude. Like lol. Lol. Law. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, you got your law's balls. I do got that one. I think that's my go-to always. Lolly, lollipop, lollipop. Lo- I've heard, I've heard lollipop my whole life. You have? Oh, mm-hmm. son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you thought you did something? No, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Left, <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. La, lolly. See, like, I couldn't go lawzilla. Lawzilla. You can. I could. I guess. Lollapalooza. Oh, that's Lollapalooza. Good. Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza. That's easy. I've never heard that one. Thank you. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> left. <laughs> That's a left of La- you, dude. Well, how about this? Put in the comments what puns you can make with Lala's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please. <laughs> make it the most sus you can. <laughs> <laughs> the more sus, the better. I mean, yeah. And you try to beat Lala's balls. I dare you. I dare you try to beat What was the first time you did Lala's balls? Oh, dude, that was like my that fresh- was before- freshman year oh, of high school. Oh, that wasn't even before an Xbox no. thing in a way? Ah. So like my school first- School did it. My first like Xbox- um, Experience. Gamer tag was like oh. was Cervantes two oh eight, inch whoa, and then like Origin. and then I like progressed because like me and my uh, friend Tyler, we were always like, um, he called himself the general, like then that like mm-hmm. stuck forever. So, like I was always the captain. Dang. So then my next one was the captain, two oh eight. Okay. Okay. And Something then, about that like, 208 at the end. I know. So I just good. had to represent for the mm-hmm. city. You know what I mean? I've been put on for the city <laughs> since day one, dude. To this day. Actually, it's even more powerful. It's for the state. Oh, for the state. Actually, do we have two area codes now, though? Uh, yeah, we do. That's so weird. It's 986 now as well. Ew. That doesn't even look right. Which makes me upset because my new phone number starts with the new area code. <gasps> Whoa, you have the new one? No, dude. Whoa. Because you didn't save my number, and it's What's fine. What's the first three digits again? 986. 986? What's also cool, my phone number is 986-999. Whoa! I could have. What's even crazier is like you you could pick your number at Verizon, right? Oh, you can. Yeah, and I they give you like there a was list? an option for six six six. But no, and I was like, now nah, I'll go juice roll that in nine. <laughs> oh, that's dope. Okay, okay. I won't get the last four because I want no random calls. I hope you go like nine eight six nine eight six nine. 969 69. all these different <laughs> it's the same thing you just gotta it's repeat over it. and, yeah. like, what's, what's your number 986 nine, eight, uh, nine, eight, are you having a strip 8696 8666 that would be cool and the um, phone numbers I do you remember your first phone number no mine was like 208-559 oh wait I do actually 208-602-8409 was my first number mm. and then back then though that was that was the whole thing just to remember our phone numbers 
Dude, like I my know. friends. Do you remember? Do you remember your house phone number? Oh no! I think the last one was like six nine eight seven. Unless that was my other friend's house. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> could have been. Actually. My, I remember mine. Like, like two oh eight. Oh my god! I forgot it now. <laughs> Represent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, I don't remember the number anymore. You don't, oh, that was the coolest thing. I had it in my head. I was thinking about. It. I was like, oh, that's mine. And then, gone. I, text it to me. Someone stole the number right <laughs> text, out. Text it to me after. <laughs> <laughs> Call the number. I dare you. Oh, call your old school number. Do you remember? Did you drive the bus as a kid? You oh, picked up. all the time. I didn't get my driver's license until I was after like second semester of high school. What? Do you remember your bus number? Oh, 50, 151. I wrote 147. No, it was 152, I think. 147? Mm-hmm. Mm. I, what, what bus? I always thought that was sick because it was so close to 187. Like, I'm just sitting on this bus thinking I'm a gangster, dude. Dang. Well, what what bus was it? The flat bus or like the, you know, like the, the flat front? Yeah. Yeah, lame. I know. You didn't like that, huh? Judge all the kids of the flat you know, front I kinda, bus. I kind of liked it because it was <laughs> modern. <laughs> but they still had the fucked up windows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't fix that for some reason. The run bus was... What's up with the seatbelts, too? Yo, you know what's crazy? It's like riding a school bus is such an experience. Like, oh. And if you didn't ride the bus, you'll never know what it was like. Five, six, seven years old, someone threw a used tampon on my bus. Dude, yeah. Uh, like, my freshman crazy. year, there was kids smoking weed in the back of the what? bus. Jesus. One year, some kid like shot me with a pellet gun. I was like, what the wow. fuck is this bus, yeah. dude? And the bus driver's like, fuck. This, I hate these kids. It's like 15 more minutes to drop you off. <laughs> the bus driver's like, it's six in the morning. Oh, I hate it when I had to bring a note for my friend to get on the bus. I'm like, so I'm like we're not doing anything. Yeah. Like the parents don't even care. He's right. Or we had to like bring a note to get off like at the like stop before. Yeah. If the parents don't care already. Oh, you know what was a fun thing I used to do? I'd get off like this because like there was a stop like just like probably like a block and a half, maybe two blocks before my house. Uh-huh. And I would get off at that stop. And try to beat the bus to my house. Oh, I do it all the time. <laughs> You're like, yes. I'm like, yo, like today's, you, today's the day, dude. Did you have a designated spot on the bus? Um, or did you always like, this whatever? No. I, there was a while, like, I like to sit at the front of the bus because like, I was the first one off. Oh, then, like, you I was, like, like that. Oh, I like to sit in the back of the you bus. You did like the back? The, that's where the cool kids yeah. sat. Was that actually the cool kids? Oh, for sure. <laughs> You're like, I was there, duh. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me, dude? Duh. <laughs> I don't, it, was, it is Cool though, just sit in the back there. Then again, though, you get away with like throwing used tampons and shooting people with pellet guns. Smoking weed. And then like the bus drivers just like hates their life. And I'm telling you, dude, it was still, like the most wild experience. Like it's like, how, why does it happen? I don't know. I think it's just a, it's just the way of life. Like it's <laughs> like, like it fights happen on the bus. Yeah. Or, oh my yo, God. You know what's crazy I, too? When people, like oh. when like kids are beefing on the school bus oh, and, they and they're just waiting the, to get off the bus. Yeah. Like you, you feel the energy inside the bus. Like you know something's about to pop yeah, off, and dude. The bus and they're just waiting to get out. And like as soon as they get off the bus, drop the backpacks and wow, 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 get out. Damn. I, I always a snitch. Legendary. I, I tell, I'll be a snitch. I tell the bus driver like there's something happening. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> call the cops, yeah, please. Call the, everyone. <laughs> call the <laughs> FBI. <laughs> but like people, I hate, it's so crazy because then the fight happens soon. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's just so crazy because like the whole way home to the school, but like the stop, like you know something's about to pop yeah. off. Like they're yapping, yapping like, yo, get off the bus. It's fucking go time. I You're wish, done. I wish the things I knew now, like going back and people like trying to flex on the bus. I just, I wish I could just be like boring. <laughs> just like be obnoxious. I'm like, why are you hitting me? You're going to get in trouble. I'm like, I don't care. I will call the cops. Yeah, I will call the cops. <laughs> oh Start God. snitching. But I'm just saying, I'm just, yeah. And then it's always disappointing though when they just wrestle, they don't even throw punches yeah. and then they're done. Yeah, I remember I saw this legendary fight <laughs> after the bus. Dude, it was so sick. It was after the bus. Yeah, oh, but okay. we got off the bus and like, um, it was even like some girl that was riding the bus like was in my age or my, or my class whatever fought an older girl who had like oh. just graduated whatever like i think Ooh, we were juniors scary bro we got off the bus like she drops her bag like and walks to the park and we're all following of course like all these kids like we're and like she sees this shit like they start yapping and then boom dude, she like, fucking mops the floor Ooh. there bro it was kind of crazy the like, she was, like, no oh, no the no yeah Yikes. like it's one boom and mm. like then it's like she dropped her looked on top of her i was like oh my Dang. god i'm gonna call the cops <laughs> I'm getting my mom. I'm like, fuck her up. <laughs> You're a little boy. Yeah. Kill her. Yes. No, but I just. Yes. Yeah, kids is not worth it. No, it is all the time. If you're listening to this podcast, kids, do not. There's no reason to fight out. Especially after the bus. Unless, you know, be a little more technique. Like, you got to maybe wait till the end of the school year. So then if you do get your ass beat, you could have a whole summer. Yeah, off. to, to yes. clinch your sense. Unless you're, you know, go to summer school. Summer school. <laughs> you got to go back. Two things. Yes. <laughs> I could never fight after school off the bus because I always wanted to rush home to poo. Oh, you had a poo every yeah, time. Yeah, the post. You have an alarm poo? clock? No, it was like because you never. I never pooed at school. Oh, so like it was the post school poo. I always took advantage of that. No, I never did. I I choked so many toilets. Not. <laughs> <in high school. laughs> 
<laughs> the to- <Right. laughs> the toilet choker. I'm the toilet choker. Like <laughs> I'm not even a strangler. No, <laughs> I just fucking ch- choke toilets. <laughs> I'm very safe, I swear to God. <laughs> no, dude. Not until like my senior year was the first time I ever pooed in school. Wow. Was it other very... time that oh, other I wish than I... the time Damn it. in second grade when I pooed in my pants. That was twice, I For guess. For people that don't know, I graduated two years mm-hmm. ahead of you. So I wish Lala was like more friends with you because then I could like I could like You, you could have held my hand. I, or like you're, you're happy, like okay. you text me that we're like, hey, it's happening, shit's going down. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Oh left. my god, you're I'm, pooing. I'm like, left? Really? <laughs> I'm like, then we go. It's really happening. But then you like poop though. I'd be cool experience with you. Oh like, damn. So you, yeah, was, I this, didn't, was not, the seat cold? Yeah, it was. And I was so scared. <laughs> like, I didn't want anybody walk in and see my shoes because I was pooing and then make people <gasps> make fun because I pooed oh, at school. Wait, did you like lift your legs up? And someone came in. Like yeah, a squatty I mean, potty? I mean, please oh, don't wow. look at my feet. That might be better for your bowels. They come like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. who was that? Oh, that's kind of cool though because it's like wearing a mask out in public. Mm-hmm. If you're in a stall, you could sh- fart as loud as you want. Just, just And no one knows. No one knows unless, like you said, like yeah. you hide the feet. So that's very smart of you. If, yeah, because if a tree falls in the woods. Or whatever to someone yeah. here. Actually, how they fucking go, there's a know. video of the bear. There's pooping in the woods, <gasps> and it, it just confirmed. Happens. It bears just confirmed. Poop in the woods. Yeah, it's confirmed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I could not do anything after the because I had to rush home to poo. Wow. And secondly, back to what we were talking about, summer school mm-hmm. effed. You know. What did I you did. ever go to summer school? Oh yeah, sophomore year, bro. The World Cup it, was happening. Summer school is <laughs> so much fun. It was fun. Like, like the teachers don't give a teacher was like don't care year old. because they don't want to be there. Yeah. And they're so young, like, they're like intern teachers. And we get to roam the school and just do whatever the hell we wanted to do. Yeah, I didn't learn anything. No, not at all. No. <laughs> they gave me A's on everything because they didn't want to be there. I remember school was like 15 minutes of work and then you're like, this guys just don't get in trouble. It's Please like, don't you break anything. You just have to stay until three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was so sick. <laughs> yeah, shout out to summer school. Yeah. And I could have left earlier, but like my mom worked, so I didn't have anyone to pick oh. me up, so I had to stay there the whole day, oh, which was even dude. more fun. You like, like that? Oh, yeah, because then I had like a group of friends that we just chilled all day. That's cool. Oh, That's cool. Man. One time I remember my ba- my grades were so bad. Like they went to, it was sixth grade, shout out South Middle School. Mm-hmm. But they they went out to like a fun party at the end of the year, but then I had to sit back because my grades were back. So I'm like, at sc- we still had to go to school. So everyone's like waving at the, like goodbye to me on the bus. Like, bye, we're going to have at the times of our life. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But then Wait, I just play basketball. Yeah, what's even more, that's fun too because I, I also experienced that, dude. <laughs> and like, we're there's only like four kids at school and that's even more fun. That's true. I mean, yeah, because like, the like teacher, a, like, uh, like I said, like brought snacks. We watched movies yeah. all the time. We just chill, bro. It's like it's like that movie when like everyone forgot to go to school except for you guys. Mm-hmm. But then again, it's just like you know, you turned out you oh, had bad dude. grades. Dude, you know, you're bringing like flooding with memories right now, bro. Because like, tell me, yeah. <laughs> in like seventh grade or eighth grade, maybe there was a freaking bomb threat at school. Oh yeah, dude. I think I was there with you. You yeah. might have been in sixth grade. Am I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. At South, so like all we all walked, walked to that church. Yeah, dude, that's so. Sick. <laughs> I left my binder, and I was scared my binder was gonna get stolen or exploded <laughs> or exploded. Not my work. I know my work. I'd never do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bomb. that was a crazy experience, bro. Yeah, bomb threat. And we then walked, like, all of us walked to that church. We chilled at the church. You know what's sad though. Our first thoughts is like, oh, we got at school. Yeah, <laughs> instead sick. of our, our, our lives are in danger. Did you get picked up, or did you have to go back to school? No, I think I just walked back to school. My mom was like, I'm picking your ass up. Oh yeah, I had to go back to school yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, that's which was also sick retarded. again. <laughs> Because yeah, that, we're the only ones there. Yeah, exactly. There was like 17 yeah. kids. And the whole whole middle school, there's 17 kids left. And it's me and you somewhere. Dude, we used to have, we used to have a, remember that uh, snack cart we had? Mm-hmm. At, at like SS, is it SSR or S, what is that freaking, the reading? Then again, yeah, I never, like I never something took it sustained serious. reading. Yeah, yeah. I never, it was never sustained. Nah, I would, I no. you couldn't sustain we shot, me, That was the first time I shot like a paper ball and through a straw or whatever. Oh, dude, a funny story, dude. <laughs> 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 what? That like you're like that S whatever that reading time. Yeah. So like I was chilling <laughs> with with, with Zach. Uh huh. You know Zach Trinan. Oh so, like, okay, we're, okay. We're chilling, bro. Like when we're kind of being bad kids, whatever. And he takes this like those like remember those like pretzels like the it was like the pizza pretzel whatever the heck. Mm-hmm. And he grabs and he launches across the room, dude. And it oh. like one of our friends, one of our buddies, like wore glasses. And it hit him in the head and then slid down to his glasses. Oh. <laughs> Legendary moment, dude, dude. Then you could get like you get those ice cream straws, get a big mm. f- fat mm. paper in there. <laughs> get like cardboard paper. You remember? Did you ever make those darts out of like your school, like where your shoelace thing and look at and then no, dude, oh. I was never. See, I was in high school. I mean, that's why I got bad grades. I was never creative. Mm. I just like I played mad and it slept. <laughs> That's my whole. What about like those things when the kids would like throw their pencils in the oh, same house? I see. I I. I I observed that. Yeah, me too. I was, you know, it was weird because I was like not a goody two shoe. I was just lazy Mm because I never skipped class. I never was. I I I had like perfect attendance. 
just failed every class. <laughs> so I don't like, know. Nick, you're here every day. No. How are you feeling? Yeah, what kind of Chinese riddle is that? <laughs> yeah. It's like a very weird, but like, that's exactly, it's just like, it's this weird how. Dude, like, I, I remember, wish I tried. I remember <laughs> one time, like, we were doing something like, uh, like there's a present, our teacher was doing a presentation in the front of the class, like all the lights were off, except for like the projector, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> the teacher turns the lights on. And there's like 84 pencils in one ceiling tile. Oh, bro. that's nice. Some kid Dude, just so ruthless. <laughs> and like she was so mad in cinematic class. I yeah. laughed so hard. Like how do you throw 84 pencils into one ceiling tile and not get in trouble? Like it's insane. Or like what goes through your head? Like you thunk. don't think you're going to get in trouble? You sure? Thunk. <laughs> <laughs> thunk. Those things are, I mean, they're meant for it though. Like get, oh. get metal ceilings if you don't want us to do that. You know <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's for on sure. them. You yeah. know what thing I never got was why we played that quarters game. With the knuckles. Oh yeah. Why did we do that? Because we're just wow, we're dumb, animal huh? kids. We're dumb. Yeah. Just What's the dumbest high other? school thing like that kids do? Oh, when they get all the toilet paper, get it wet, and then oh, <laughs> I know. What's up with that? I think what's funny is the noise it makes when it hits the wall. It's like <laughs> <laughs> the only coolest thing was, I mean, not coolest thing, but like the one I enjoyed was just at the end of school we just threw all of our papers out and stuff. Oh yeah, like, the that paper was cool. toss was super sick. And then it sometimes gets crazy though because then you throw all the the shit in the it, ceiling and it collapses. I tried so hard to break a ceiling tile. <laughs> <I knew it. laughs> I didn't even throw my papers. I threw uh, my backpack first. Dang. <gasps> Boom. Dang. Ooh, did you ever poop at summer school? Mm, nope. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. You got to take that summer school poop. No, dude. I couldn't. Yeah. I mean, how are you? What about when you were younger? Did you poop in public? Nope. You're just not a public I'll poop pooper. in public now. You're not pee-pee? No, I'm not. Yeah. Only pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> no poo poo. <laughs> only IP indoor poop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it, though. I get it. But now I'll go anywhere, whatever, like I'm an adult. You're, you're, you feel good. You pass I just don't that. care anymore. You pass that home. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, help. it's just, <laughs> it's like. I went over that shit. I'm like, what, I think what like helped me is like when someone's like going pee and you hear someone pooing, they like, they fart and it's just funny. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> funnier, dude, when like you're just going pee in the urine and like hear someone like. Burr, burr. Yeah. And, like I heard it wash my hands. I have to go back to the table. Like, uh, yo, someone just farted so loud in there, dude. You never even <laughs> guess. Ah, uh, see, I, I want to still have that moment where like I talk to someone in the stall. I get what's up, fam. Yeah, what's up? You're like, <laughs> or are you far like, oh man, dude, shut that asshole up. <laughs> you know, you're just like crazy. Shut up, asshole. Dude, speaking of assholes, okay, I have a question for you. All right, let's see here. If you, I had this talk with Callie, shout out Callie. Um, we, if you knew someone had all the secrets and stuff, like someone was lying to you, right? Right. Like let's like let's say I was just straight up lying to your face. Mm -hmm. But then actually, no, I want to let's put someone random, but. Like they they lie to you, right? And the yeah. only way you to find out their secrets if they're telling the truth, you have to suck their truth out their asshole. Mm. Would you do it? No, me either. <laughs> Not a fucking if chance. Cal, if Callie had all the answers up, I still couldn't do it. I don't think. I'm just scared of like, oh, like that, and you're like, and then you, everything's gonna go in your mouth. It's scary. You wouldn't. Yeah. So you wouldn't suck the asshole to get all the truth. No. Okay. Nick, you're if ever... you're lying to me, there's no way I'm gonna suck your ass to get the truth. <laughs> <laughs> then there's people, Are you trying to get me to eat your ass? People lying all the time. What's happening? I've been, I've been lying all day. <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, yeah. You, so it's a no. No, definitely not. That does not f. Hmm. I wonder how many people would say yes. But it you want to do? You want to oh, know what f? What does f? <laughs> it, no, the, tell them the truth, Alex. The <laughs> official start to sweater weather is today. I feel like. Wait, you think so? Yeah. Okay. It's all gloomy it's and official. rainy and cold. <sighs> I mean, so it's sweater to, weather Fs. It's supposed to be fifties. Super hard. Super, super hard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sweater weather. Just mm. I mean, do you have a favorite? Do you have your jackets picked out and everything? Do you got a favorite? My go-to is like this. Like I've worn, I've worn it a few times on the pod. Is like that that brown flannel. Oh so comfy, yes, that's, so a, cozy. that's a classic. And it's handsome. Do you have like any any other one or? Do you buy like every other year and stuff jackets? You just keep that jacket and stuff. Um, no, it depends. Yeah, like there, there's a there's a point in time like where you know like oh yeah I need a new jacket. I know. I never know the I never know the point though. Like when, when I bought my first like big puffy coat jacket, I was like I think twenty two. Yeah, but I felt so bad. At like you're actually like your it first like winter a, coat it was as like an Columbia. adult. Yeah, and Damn. I was like so excited. I'm not a big coat and person though. It. To be completely honest with you, like yeah, I'll just wear sweaters all winter long. Me too. Unless I'm at work, of course. You know, I've been trying crew necks more. <sighs> yeah, I hated crews too, but then I got my first like Carhartt crew neck, and I was like, yeah, this actually slaps. Yeah. Well, like my boobs were farther than my back, so this, this crew necks didn't look good on me. For mm. Yeah, it just looked weird <laughs> on me. It doesn't look good when you see like a beard on me. And then you yeah. See, yeah. If you look at me front first. Frontal? <laughs> yeah, then it's okay. But then if you look pan up, then it's nasty. <laughs> 
<laughs> I just crew necks, but I should have worn crew necks my whole life though. Crew necks are dope. Man. They're good. They're good for the soul. Even they feel. I think it's the weird thing because I, when I wear a long sleeve, I always expect a hoodie. Mm-hmm. I love a hoodie more than like anything. if I even like now like where I would t- I would grab a hoodie first for sure. Yes, something about hoodies. Are you a scarf guy at all? Mm, never been. Do you mess with scarves? Yeah, never been. I've, I'll try it. You try it. Mm-hmm. I mean, like a sports scarf. You could you could start with a Bengal scarf. I have a Sounders. Scarf. Oh, that oh that's perfect mm-hmm. then. Sounders. I want to go to a soccer games. So They're bad. so much fun. Do you I have mean, Fs? You mean would you hold on? You know, would you yeah, poop sorry. in a Sounders stadium? No, I don't oh. want to poop in a stadium at all. There's too many nasty things like pe- drunk guys peeing on everything. You know what F's a clean bathroom in a local setting. Oh, dude, yeah, that's a good one. Or a fresh porta potty. Mm. It's like you landed on a fresh land in a new planet. The thing though is like you got to take a bunch of toilet paper and drop it down into the water. Oh, so the it doesn't get splashed back. Yeah, that little blue water. Hits yeah, you don't want that because that could be someone's mm, pee and <sighs> other guys poo poo or anything. Yeah, it could be Who literally anything. anything. That's a scary place. I so mean, that's a, that's a, has to be a very Hard job, the porta potty cleaner. Yeah, yeah. I, that's that. Those shout out to those guys because they're keeping the I construction know. industry alive. I mean, shout out to all the people that do stuff that we don't know. Really, <laughs> like mm-hmm. all the things I never even think about. Like even like the water system and the whole like that's a lot of shit to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> quite literally even. It's it's nuts, and people do that as a job, and we don't even think about them. So we're giving you all your flowers. <laughs> yeah, flowers to everybody who does stuff that we don't like to do. Because we, we respect you. and Because I, I would never do it. Mm-mm. I don't even look at my own shit. Yeah, well, that's the thing, too, is, like, we, like, I'm a plumber, so, like, I yeah. only do, like, new construction stuff, but, like, we had uh, to go do, like, some remodel things. So I'm like, dude, is there going to be poo in there? Oh, that's true. Because if there's poo in there, I'm going to quit today, can right you, now. How Can you give me, like, a two-minute session of how plumbing works? <laughs> yeah, like, so. Because you get your house, right? Yeah. And then you have to hook it up for everyone. Like, how does the water start coming and stuff? Like, so there's, like, a the- main water connection, like, from outside the building. You have to, like, come off, like. But it's already built into like the whole no, thing. No, so like you, you have to connect to the city water, which like the city does themselves. And uh-huh. like typically the way it works out is like you, they run it, they whatever, there's like some kind of connection, like you run it inside. Yeah. And then you have your own like house connection inside your house. I always wonder how that works too. It's mm-hmm. like, do they pre build everything and then you just build on top of everything? Sometimes, yeah. Like you, like it, say like there's a bunch of like, the, if we're going to build like a subdivision, whatever, like we're going to like pre stub like a bunch of waters, like whatever, like that's. There would be like that would be the smart thing to do. I feel okay. like, anyways, I don't really know. Well, like the thing about construction too, it's kind of cool because you look at a building like it did all that. Yeah, <laughs> like it's kind of cool that way. The but then thing. like it gets obnoxious. You're like, yo, I did to that. I worked here and yeah. I worked there and I worked there. Or you fall through a roof. To be completely honest, I think I might have made that stuff up. I don't really know, dude. <laughs> Fact checked. <laughs> I because what I'm thinking about is like I'm thinking about like Hagen listening to the podcast. Like, lol, you're such an idiot, dude. That's not because he's a Hagen, t- Hagen, please put in the comments yeah, stuff. Let Just us know how you. <laughs> I know that, like, I just know that we I stuff, like, kn- typically, like, we stub, like, a poly tube of water inside, then we connect to that somehow. But, like, I don't know the actual, like, Science way behind. it comes from the city into the building. Hagen, please, in the comments, let us know. <laughs> no, actually, on the Patreon. Yeah, exactly. He'll do, I, the, he'll do yeah, a whole lesson. plumbing lesson from Hagen. Yeah, plumbing 101. Mm-hmm. P101. I don't know if anybody even cares, though. Oh, you know someone cares. That's the thing about this world. There's someone that cares. Yeah, who cares the most is other plumbers that can just talk shit about how you're wrong. Oh, wow. Yeah. You hit something right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's like. Tell me more. It's it's like even if. Uh, what was the segment we had with the, uh, you know, we were listening to the songs. I, I, why am I forgetting? Why am Seth's I blank? lyrics? No, the one where like we exit or no, like we've messed with it or not. Oh, yes, no potential. Yeah. And it's no, like for some reason, there's someone that's, you know, someone likes it no matter what. Oh, for sure. So, you know. What's crazy is like most of those songs on the yes, no picture had like thousands of listens. And like, yeah, there exactly. are songs that we said no to. Like, how many people do you think are in the world now? Like, eight billion? Yeah. Because every time as a kid, there's always seven billion. But now I think it's like eight or nine. Did we cross the... But the, just to think of someone, there's someone out there that's going to listen to your plumber story. What's even crazy <laughs> is, is like, out of the eight billion people, there's like hundreds of them that listen to this podcast, which is crazy. Wow. And it's it, that's what I'm saying, man. You should have to select hundred people out of the eight billion. Shout out to you. <laughs> That's a good percentage. Oh yeah, we're killing it. Dude. I'm just saying we got some people. We got ears. We got ears. There's something for some for everyone. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. That's the mm. biggest biggest picture. And then for all you single people, there's <laughs> someone out there for you. <laughs> I was in your spot one. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the camera. Well, you have been in this spot. I've been in that spot too. To be that's fair, true. To be fair, that's left. I love saying to be fair. To be honest. To be fair. Oh, damn, I went two B's. TB, TBF? Two two B's. TBF. Oh, are you all right? What'd you what do? Did you just do? Off camera, Nikki just broke his spinal. 
<laughs> there's a T. Uh, there's a T in Carter. So he just so he had to struggle with the T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, somebody has a BB doll near right now. Oh my god, it is spooky season. I've been feeling like uh like I'm being uh what is it? You're being possessed? Not, not possessed. Watched? Yeah, Messed with? Do you want to yeah. do you want to rub the egg on you? I did. <gasps> Wait, did you rubbed the egg? Yeah. No way. Yeah, bro. Hey! Wait, teach me. What's what's up? So, like, do you want to explain that, Nikki? So, basically, here, I'll put, I'll put yeah. yeah, can we swing the mic? <laughs> Wait, so rub the egg. Yeah, so basically, this kind of vapor. Oh, let him thing. come over here and get in the camera. So, basically, what you do is you Oh, look, you can sit here even. I'll go take it. <gasps> He's a producer. All right, so this is Nikki's segment of what does it mean by rub it? Putting the egg on it? What's like the, what's the proper term? Huh? What's the proper term? It's Put like, it. uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, produce it. <laughs> so basically what it is, is kind of, uh, it's like Olympia. So it's just like oh. a clean, it like cleanse you basically. It's a, it's a cleanse. So you grab an egg, you, you take it out of the fridge. Obviously you have to leave it out for like a, like a, a day. You have to, it has to be like room temp. Okay. So there's a prayer that you do and you have to rub it all out around you like what? multiple times, like throughout your whole body. And you crack an egg in a cup of water, and you have to leave it under your bed. The next day, you'll see what comes up. What? So sometimes the egg could turn black, oh. and that means there's like something in you. Interesting. And or it's just like white, white stuff coming up, and it's just like there's something inside of you. That and you're was, okay. You're okay. Yeah, somebody had put something on you, or wishing bad Whoa. upon you. So that that's why I feel like I feel like somebody somebody's doing that to me, dude. I, I mean, if know. someone put a voodoo on you, that's very scary. We gotta go find him now, dude. I've been having well, like that's the thing. Uh, my sister, we were like not we were possessed. I can see it. <laughs> my sister, like, <laughs> we're but like we we cut lemons uh -huh. and we put it in each room because I guess if it molds it molds quicker if there's something like in the room, like ah, scary stuff. So they like, but if it's fine. It's like nothing's in, there's no bad entity, I guess. There's other things like putting scissors under your bed and like uh, putting salt by your window and stuff like that. So that's like the ghost vapor rub. Yeah, <laughs> Like dude. you put an egg. <laughs> it has been, salt yeah, so I got to do you, Is your back okay? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hurting right now. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like somebody stabbed me in the back. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna see if like watch Nikki start levitating or like his arm just if flip If you guys do, up. please just stab me. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no, me. just get rid of me. Like, you see this window? Throw me right through that window. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't, honestly, though, like, legit, if you were possessed, right? And you're like, you got to kill me before. And I'm like, I think I might run away. I don't think I'd kill you. No, kill me. I can't. No, you have to. Oh, I mean, that'd be scary. Like, I, like I want you to stab me in the neck. Lalo, if if I was a demon, and the only way you could make me not be a demon, you have to suck my ass. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sucking ass for free. <laughs> Dude, I'm sucking ass for free, bro. Come on now. You dude. can't tell me you haven't had a little ass. What do you? What do you? <laughs> <laughs> like straight up, bro. Like, dude. You've been waiting to come on the pod. Say, I eat ass. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what's up, you guys? Uh, his numbers. <laughs> hey. Well, I mean, what's a what's the scariest doll that you oh, think? I thought you were gonna say what's the number one ass to eat? <laughs> uh, scariest doll. Number one. There's a person rank. <laughs> <laughs> That's to me, bro. Ass of feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise you make when you're eating out. It's like, it's like, kind of, bro. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like shiny, you know? <laughs> like your ass kind of makes a very... What were you saying? Note. The doll what? What's the scariest doll do you think in movie history? We got Chucky. We got Annabelle up there. Mm. We got that... Uh, is it Happy from Night or, uh, Goosebumps? Oh, yeah, the, the, the Ventriloquist? Uh, I think the ventriloquist one is kind of kind of kind of creepy. Yeah, what if we all in the universe we all talked like uh, puppets? We're like, how how do I go? Like, that? <laughs> you know Dude, what I mean? I'd be, be so scared. Ugh. You think you think that guy's the most scary still? The ventriloquist, yeah, dude, because I think it's it's. Oh, Ooh, over yeah. Annabelle possessed. Just because it's weird looking. Yeah, I think the, any ventriloquist like doll is like kind of creepy. You know, there's a true doll story. It's our, I think. I'm just going to throw out Carl. Mm, Carl. Shout out Carl. <laughs> but it's like a little doll, but it was left behind mm -hmm. of a kid that died. But in the house, you see uh, there's been multiple uh, stories and sightings of this this doll every time, like, looking out the window to people. And they, like, see it turn sometimes. That's and crazy. it's just out of this. Because this, uh, the parents don't want to get rid of the doll because it kind of reminds me. Of, that it, rem it reminds me. <laughs> it, reminds, <laughs> it, reminds, it reminds them of the doll. Oh, okay. And then they're like... Uh, they so they can't throw it away, but then this and like this doll's up in the attic just looking at people. Oh, I'm like, that's dude, weird. Dude, that's yeah, weird. I don't know, dude. 
I, I mean, what's know. up with old people having dolls in their house sometimes? I don't know. I got sleep paralysis the other day, though. <laughs> Whoa, you got to tell us that. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Okay, you so. Wanna, yeah, let us tell all us. All right, yeah. so I was sleeping, right? And uh, Vic was there, bro. Vic was at my house. And I was sleeping on the couch. And I see a hand, bro. I see a hand. Yeah. And my hand's extended. I'm on the couch. My hand's sticking out like this. And somebody's hand was like this on my hand. Just going like this, dude. Going like this, and I was like, "Dude, what the fuck, dude?" Like, I could feel it. But your body's like, yeah, my body's like, it can't move. Ugh. I can't move, and I just like, I'm like looking, and I can see like, <gasps> I'm like, dude, what the fuck's going on? And, I, and they locked pinky like this. That's why I'm saying like, I feel like something happened. They locked their pinkies with me. Whoa, and it was Vic, it was and they Vic? didn't let go, bro. They were just holding it. I could feel it like tugging. Whoa, and I was like, I was like, dude, I was trying to wake up, and I was like, dude, I gotta, I gotta like roll over. I gotta try to roll over on the floor so I could wake up, you know. But oh the thing God. is, is like in my mind, I told I was telling my mind I gotta roll over on the floor, and I thought I rolled over and hit the floor, but I got up. But dude, I didn't hit the floor. I tricked my. I feel like I tricked Whoa. my mind, thinking I was falling you so I could wake your... up. Whoa. Oh, Whoa, dude! And I was just, I was just like, dude, what the hell? And I thought it was Vic messing with me. <laughs> if it was, Vic. and I, I dude, I, I straight up, I straight up texted him. I was like, dude, are, are, did you mess with me right now? And he's like, no, dude. Was that your Was that your first time having sleep paralysis? No, I no, had okay. it like multiple times. Okay, I have it like. But this one to have your pinky lock, like dude, a, that's the first time I ever felt so like actual ew, something that's touching my freaky, head. And like, dude, when they went like this, I got scared. Because mine, that's mine, the one you had? that is the scariest that one. Has, like the actual some. having feeling. Yeah, someone touching you. Yeah, I just having feel like like the other ones that I've had, I could just like someone's like pressure on your back. Or no, something. no, no, it's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. I, I'm just like awake, but I can't move. There's nothing around oh, me geez. or anything like that. You're just paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, I that's freaky. Yeah. And it sucks, too, because it's you're the most vulnerable because you're just sleeping. I know, dude. I'm just like, leave me alone, dude. I'm trying to, I got to work the next day. It's like, like 2 o'clock in the morning. you trying to smash? Yeah, <laughs> What's <yeah>. going on? <laughs> <laughs> what the what? Your like, go-to like, to get yourself to wake up. I, st- uh, I hold my breath. Oh. But I feel like- Your when, face I is feel, all blue? <laughs> no, dude. Like, honestly, I wake up like, <gasps> like yeah. I can't breathe because I just hold my breath, bro. See, that's how yeah, when, that's when my sleep paralysis happened, I was like pushing- and then mm-hmm. finally the pressure like fell off and I just like almost threw myself way back because I was like, I was legit pushing as hard as Dude, I can. Dude, you have to do yeah. something. You have to trick your mind. I feel like that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Shout out to everyone that has sleep paralysis. <laughs> That's the scariest thing in the world. That'd All be right. a cool rap name, sleep I'm paralysis. I'm going to let Lalo get back right, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reset, reset. <laughs> reset, 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 reset. That was Nikki's story about sleep paralysis. No, sleep paralysis, very, I mean, I hope you guys don't have to experience that because it's a very scary thing. It's like, uh, it's like, thing, I think it's the closest thing you could have to a paranormal, not, but then again, it's not paranormal, I don't think, but it's just weird body science. Yeah, like, why does that even happen? <laughs> and if you're picking, if you're, if you're picking on Nikki while he's sleeping, how dare you? All that I think does. that, like, the way to get out of it is, like, get more scary than whatever is, like, trying to get with you, you know what I mean? Whoa, yeah, I mean, no one's going near me. Yo, you know what I'm saying, Nikki? Like, when whatever was rubbing your pinky, she's like, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All, I, all, I, all I was saying in my mind, I was like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> that's all and saying. they couldn't man that's yeah. freaky dude just, that's maybe you should have been like you fucking like that <laughs> what if that's like our closest way of telekinesis like we could talk with our minds like get away damn dude I, I heard what true. I heard with ghosts though it's from Japanese culture right but mm-hmm. if they're like this is what my grandma always said too like if a ghost comes to you don't be scared because if it is a loved one and if you show that you're scared it won't come back again because it'll be it doesn't want to scare you oh, wow. so like it sucks though because you're it's a ghost like dude. what are you supposed to do I just had an idea. What? Should we go try and stay in your haunted Airbnb on Halloween? I know exactly how. Yeah. We could try to see if it's open. <laughs> go on Monday. That'd be tight, dude. Damn. Goes, oh, let's go to, let's do a remote podcast at the penitentiary. We got the things. We do have the things. We have cameras. We got the mics. Then we, all we need is ghosts. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Dude, I don't know because like after that one time oh, we wait. had that spooky experience on the pod. When, oh like, yeah, that's true. I was like kind of messed up for a while because I was. A, that's another thing, bro. Is I feel like there's like stuff following me. Wait, what if ever since then it happened? I think so. <gasps> I've been, I've been, like, my, my house is haunted. Dude, I, I your spine is haunted. I now. saw this thing <laughs> here. Yeah, something seriously, bro. Something, <laughs> something was in your back. <laughs> something <laughs> blowed out your back, dude. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Uh, dude, Are you I, saying that alone? Let's go. Let's go. Let's I heard, I saw this dude was talking about like when you experience like paranormal activity, whatever. Like mm-hmm. it's PA. It's mo- yeah. When you're experiencing <laughs> PAs, dude, it's mostly like it's your. It could be your brain. Oh, it's like because like your brain, like your. I don't even know how to explain it. To you. Like you're when you because when you focus on something, you see it more often, right? Like you give that energy. So like say like 
when you want to buy a new car, you see that car everywhere. That's yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's because your the brain's law of like, attraction. Yeah, and you're like you're focusing on it. It's like when you like say like experience something scary or whatever. Yeah. The more you give that energy, the more you're gonna experience it. The more you're gonna see it. Like, say like you see a book fall. Mm -hmm. Did the book really fall, or did you like manifest it to fall? You know what I mean? Like that's just mm -hmm. your brain making things happen. Well, I guess that's true. That, like after watching a scary movie, you think someone's in the room, or like you turn off the lights really quick because you think your brain's making you think like there's something. Which in there. is so crazy because like. There's been times like you just like feel so paranoid yeah. like after a movie like it's actually kind of crazy. The weirdest thing is the like, I, I don't know if it's like in our genetics, but like when you when we feel someone watching us <gasps> when there's nothing there, but we know there's something watching. That's us? the weirdest feeling. That's weird. Yo, like the other night I had turned off like I woke up kind of like whatever in the middle of the night whatever I went to like, I think I went to the bathroom and I got some water mm -hmm. like I, like typically like I oh, I sleep with like the TV on like because I'm watching something fall asleep whatever. So like I usually have a light on, right? <clears throat> and it was dark. So I turned like my bedroom light off to go lay down. Like as I'm walking to the bed, like I felt like the darkness like close in on me. And like I I got so like, <sighs> like my anxiety went through the roof. My fear oh, went through the so roof. Crazy. Like I felt like, like the darkness was like grabbing me. You know what I mean? Like, and like I turned the TV on so fast. I was like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, why was, I it was kind of like, it was honestly like, kind of like, I haven't like experienced like a fear like that in a long time. Like. And, but like I felt like it was like, pfft. well, it's weird that we even do experience it. Like it's like a primal so many thing. things happening on this earth, and then that's just another ingredient. Though, like we have paranormal stuff. What's even crazy is like on the other side of the world, like someone's just waking up. Yeah, and here I'm trying Taking to go to bed, poop. like, and I'm terrified. Yeah. Yo, what about when you're home alone? Oh, dude, I hate that honestly. Like nobody's there. All the lights are off. Yeah. No, nope. I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, Airbnb home, home alone. That's very scary. Yo, I should get Hagen had a super spooky Airbnb experience. I should have him come on and talk about it. Yeah, I hate when the Airbnb Airbnbs have the random locked basements. <laughs> oh, do when they have <laughs> like, locked why? doors? Yeah, dude. I had one. They had like a bike lock, but it was the on the outside of like one of those like big ones in the floor. Oh yeah, like a cellar door. Yeah, and that was in that Meridian one, right? And I was just like, See? "This is." Free. I'm like, "What if there's like Leatherface down here?" Yeah, dude. Honestly, or like the boy, how there's people hiding in the walls. In the walls. Oh, yeah. dude, stop. Or no vacancy. You ever watch that one? <laughs> no. I don't so it's like one. it's with it's with it's with Luke Wilson, uh, Owen Wilson's brother, right? Mm -hmm. Um, him and Rachel McAdams, but they go to a hotel, and there's cameras everywhere in the hotel, so they watch them first, and then they kill them. But it's like a yeah. So it's like someone's watching you. And you're just like in it. It's just like weird stuff that like there's a, you never know. You never know. Honestly though, like everyone like I've seen like, I know like I've seen people like saying weird things about like Airbnbs or whatever, dude, like that people are like putting cameras and stuff. Yeah, what the hell? But honestly, dude, I really don't care, dude. Like you want to watch me poo? Honest. That's true too. What if they have it in the shower? Dude? That's fine, dude. Like I really you could be care, a hero you know and be like, like, you want to see me naked? Yeah. What if you're a hero like the, like the. Yeah, like the villains are like, oh, you know real. what? We got we got to stop doing this. Yeah, like they they see me and like, yo, like why do we do this? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a You're cool just idea. Like showering like all happy and they're like, "Why the fuck are we doing this?" Is that a BBL? <laughs> <laughs> like why is he drying his ass on the bed? Or like, they, I don't know or they pay more cameras after that. I was like, "Oh god damn, we need <laughs> We need angles everywhere. Yeah, look at that. We need every angle of that ass. Like cuz like what they don't know is like to like after the shower like I dry my body like like a dog like in the grass like just rubbing my scooting, butt scooting across the floor <laughs> like what the fuck you just like, bark randomly like, like I'm scaring them more than they're scaring me is this guy a dog what is this <laughs> that'd be hilarious dude this dude and then they're like they give me free stays to the Airbnb because like, they want to study me you cook like a whole breakfast and throw it in the trash <laughs> just <laughs> never let them know your next move dude <laughs> <laughs> think you're crazy you're just having a full conversation like, yeah I was walking down the street I know. Is it, but you're in the living room by myself by yeah, yeah. Like, you know Ooh. what I mean? Oh, I always want to do like a, a fake, um, like not, I don't even know how I'm going to do this, but like you could like hack the camera. So it's still showing of the, uh, the room regular, but you're doing stuff behind it, but it's just showing like a, an illusion. Oh, like you print a picture of the room and yeah, then you put, put it, it on there, but you can like freak them out though. So mm -hmm. they're like, where is this? Actually what I do is like, I go to the Airbnb, I like, I check in like normal, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then like, I turn all the lights off. And then when I turn them back on, like I had like that little like diamond on my head, like I'm a sim, <laughs> and I only speak the sim language. Even Lurgan, 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 McClurgan, 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 McClurgan. I always have to end and get. And I just only uh, like, and I walk like a sim. Dude, that'd be cool. Like or Grand Theft Auto, how are you just like walk into the car and you're stuck, <laughs> just like <laughs> and yeah. the jump. Yeah, all oh, the jumps. So Why out of Grand Theft Auto, the most realistic game? Like they, not I mean, 
physics wise, it's not. It's no, still, not at but all. Like, realist, like there's some good graphics, but this, the jump looks so cheesy. What's crazy still. is like, I've seen a bunch of videos where people are like doing Grand Theft Auto in real life, and it's just them like walking. Yeah, it looks so cool though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Or they're like running into the wall. Yeah. Or like when my favorite animation too, when they open the door because it's all hard, but then the door like barely swings open, and then they close it and it goes, <laughs> with like it's barely a swing. Oh, dude, shout out, the Grand Theft Auto. shout out GTA. I wish GTA did like a cool Halloween special, like kill zombies and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's a mod something, but like, yo, speaking of that, do you remember when Red Dead Redemption did their zombie? Yeah, the add-on? zombie whole thing, that the was Undead dope. Nightmare. Oh, dude, Think me? of San Andreas zombies, gangsters versus zombies. Oh, fire! Fire! Ch- the Chalambis? Chalambis, dude, gangsters versus Chalambis. Whoa, Damn, man. that's a freaking turf war. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I heard a good thing, like, like why is it called turf war? There's not even no turf anywhere. Fair enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no one wants to play on turf anyways, dude. That's true. Play on like natural grass. Gra- natural grass war. The first time I ever stepped on turf and I fell down, I got hurt. Oh, see. Because it's rough. I got a, a legit ru- turf burn. A car- turf burn, yeah. See? You know what, too? Just a real quick rant. Get your carpets out of high school gyms. Uh, I mean, even elementary gyms. There's. Oh, yeah. What is up with that? Why is not everything hardwood? I got the biggest rug burn, too. And I'm like, why am I getting rug burn playing basketball? Mm-hmm. And that's a fourth grader knowing that. <laughs> I am like aware. Fourth graders are aware. They know. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. That's like putting carpet on like a, you're playing, what it would it be? Oh, what was that? <gasps> Ghost? Lock the door. <laughs> Lock the door. <laughs> if that thing ever swung open. <laughs> that'd be I'd good. shat my pants. And we all shat our pants. <laughs> <laughs> but no wait what was that what was that before the ghost uh carpet and bat yeah basketball. Oh yeah, like this like putting different like you would never put a carpet like i've seen soccer fields with carpet but like it just doesn't so, it doesn't make sense though soccer with carpet i am out there where in the gym i'll, sh- I'll complain <laughs> right now dude. i know uh i don't know some of those just freak me out like mm-hmm. it was like it, it's something that's in a place where it doesn't belong yeah, at all you're playing a basketball in a nice rink doesn't make sense i don't know oh dude speaking of uh, Ice rings. Mm-hmm. I started playing the NHL game. Oh. I'm so bad. It's actually super, <laughs> super hard. Wait, NH- is that the season's back, huh? Yeah, it, it just started. Shout out to Steelheads. No, shout out. Yeah, oh, the, let's go. To, Steelhead games are so fire, dude. And then one day we'll go to a Kraken game. Let's go to a Kraken game. Because you haven't been, right? No. Nope. Okay. Those, this is their second or third season. Do they season, play? What stadium do they play in? Their very own stadium. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. I wonder, is it down? Ooh, oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that was or is actually, it kind of scary? Actually, though, you know, a nice singing voice goes very scary. Is it on a radio? Let's say one being not scary and ten being terrifying. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or would you rate just hearing some oh, random person? If I, no, say, like think if you're on a banded cruise ship and you hear that ten. Ten for sure. Yeah. If and you're the, out, you're out at McDonald's, and it's zero. like twelve o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, zero. But in the studio right now, right now. Six. Yeah, it's kind of scary. F two. I'm kind of. I think, kinda, it's, a, I think it's cause like it's <laughs> it's more scary because this we were talking about spooky stories. Yeah, that's true. It's weird what the mind does, man. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Now I had now my anxiety's peaked. <laughs> you're gonna and I'm fr- fully torqued. You're gonna be freaking out on the drive home the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch the I mean, I know. Shout out to yeah. I guess shout out to all the ghosts and shout out to, not shout out to whoever's possessing Nikki because that's messed Seriously, up. Seriously, leave Nikki alone. What if you heard like a ghost say just like whisper in your ear? <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess I'd have to do it for you. Oh, so you do to a ghost. I mean, for if it was to save your life, dude, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I, I respect that. For you, bro, I do anything. That's cool. I mean, that'd be, that'd be crazy on like Exorcism of Emily Rose. Mm. The standing, he's like, we have to suck her ass. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, one, two, three. Oh, she's snapping the fingers, dude? Yeah, she's oh. like, one, ass, two, ass, three. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> this gets, gets... Have, you guys, have you guys heard about the, 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 when they were filming The Exorcist, the first one? Uh-huh. A bunch of fucking crazy shit happened. Yeah, yeah dude. dude, that's that stuff's real. Too. Like to think the the act no, or the the lady who plays the mom or the, like the lady who plays the exorcist, one of them like got like severely injured or something. Like she like her, her but broke her back or something. Well, yeah, yeah uh, that, 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 the girl that was possessed was supposed to push her, but something else pushed her against the wall. Yeah, and like she fucked up her back. She, like stuff was like catching on fire well, and they had, stuff, like, the bro. The animatronic thing, the bed, the mover, uh, and it broke. Legit, just broke. Her back. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> she's it, like yeah. fourteen. Oh, dude, yeah, so, some guy insurance. Was, some guy was controlling it, bro, and like, I guess like she felt like when somebody it was just wasn't it wasn't the, the machine that was like pushing her. It was something else yeah, it's like. Crying. So yeah, what's crazy? What's even like scarier, bro? Like when she's like crying for help. Oh, that's her. That's real her cry. real yeah, cry for yeah. help. Oh my god, dude, that movie scares the shit out that of me. That one. Dude. So like Exorcist, the um, Poltergeist. Oh, 
Like mm-hmm. how they use the real skeletons, that's freaky. That's actually so scary too. And as an actor, I don't. I think the actress knew, but she's just like, I can't believe I'm doing. Yo, this. even scary. Like that little girl from the Poltergeist. Like it was actually got like she got cancer and died like four years later. Well, didn't she get murdered? No, she she died. Oh, I think yeah. it's just cancer. But like a lot of people just bad luck after that movie. Yeah. Well, that same shit. Like whatever happens, like these like cursed movie sets. Even like, like cursed movie set. The Dark Knight's one of the most cursed. Is it really? Yeah, like there's been three deaths, two fires, and then like uh, like Heath Ledger was part of the deaths. Mm-hmm. Like that's his favorite. R.I.P. Heath. R.I.P. Heath. Everybody's favorite Joker. Damn. Damn. I know. Oh, damn. You know how I got these scars? I'll take one, dude. Why so soon? I sucked in the ass. Joaquin over Heath, huh? Yeah. Wow. Sorry about it. Which favorite Batman? <laughs> favorite Batman? I mean, I love Michael Keaton so much. Keaton's good. But I got to go with Christian Bale because he's, he's a, he's well, a he's deep. He, I mean, George I've, Clooney was a nipple Batman. I know. And those are some good ass nipples. <laughs> good, good Batman nipples. <laughs> little bat nipples. Bat nips. <laughs> bat nips. <laughs> I mean that's a that'd be a cool little Hershey kiss. Okay, let's go uh-huh. off a few. Let's write off a few things. Favorite Batman. Okay, I'm gonna go Christian Bale. Favorite Joker. Joaquin. Favorite Spider Man. Uh, okay, it was Tobey Maguire, but I love I love Tom Holland, but little Andrew. I think all three. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> On three, no explanation. Name your favorite Batman or Spider Man. Uh, One, two, three. Tobey Maguire. Toby sucks. Damn, he suck. He could suck my ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> Toby's great, man. But um, you're right. I get it. Number three really ruined his reputation. Yeah, dude. Because those emo Spider Man. Because those first Spider, the first Spider Man's, the Sam Raimi. Those feel like comic book Spider Mans. Yeah, that's true. And like, it was the start. I guess that's actually no, that's not true. I think the X Men movies came before Spider Man. Um. Yeah. Like first, first Marvels. Yeah. Was yeah. The X Men yeah, movies like 2001. Mm-hmm. Actually, though, uh, Blade. Oh yeah. No one gives Blade his flowers, dude. I know. <sighs> Who's playing? Is it? Oh, is it her, Mahersh- oh, I forget yeah, Mahershala. Mahershala Ali. Yeah, mm-hmm, he's gonna yeah. be Blade. Yeah, yeah. That's but, a badass. Yo, I casting. can't wait for the new Blade movie. It's gonna be so fire, dude. And in the nightclub, you know, vampires are dope because they just party all the time. Okay, that that scene that where like the beginning scene of Blade, where, like they're yeah, just at the, the blood rave. Yeah, and he's just like, tss, tss, and then like he walks like, in, mm-hmm, just murders them all, <laughs> murdering people. No, I can't say that. Well, not right. people, yeah, yeah. vampires. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa, dude. See, don't YouTube you can't flag us for murdering vampires. Not I, people. You can't even say the word. Yeah, and, it, aiming people. And then that's with three Ds and four Rs. So it's not even the real word. We're saying yeah. something way different. <laughs> but um, like being a vampire. That I mean, like Blade Vampire though. That's a very effed up vampire world. Yeah. No. Like I, little. Like my. What's that one with? Uh, Lipnicki, the kid. Like he's like my best friend's a vampire. Whatever. When he moves to Scotland, and it's like it's a uh, you know the kid off Little Stewart or Stuart Little. Yeah, sorry, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> 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 but uh, that little blonde kid. Yeah, with he, the glasses. It's that Disney movie. He has like a vampire. Is he? Oh, is not he the vampire? No, he's a he's a regular. A regular. A regular. He's, <laughs> he's a regular. He's a reggie. He's a mug. A mug. <laughs> a muggle. A muggle. Wow. No, but um. R. P. Hagrid. By the way, I'm just saying like that. Oh man, I know. No one stands for Hagrid. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm sorry. You laughed in that moment. I told you, I've been having dark thoughts lately. <laughs> but anyways. Yes, hold on. One more, one more second. Then we'll reset after this. There we go. Thank you. Welcome back, Surf Wave po- Sur- Oh, my God. Surface Wave Podcast. Reset, reset yeah, again, please, Nick. Dang, dude. <laughs> not, even, not even a good character. Welcome back, Surf Wave <laughs> It's okay. It's I'm right. so sorry. You, okay. you do it. Okay. Welcome back to the Surface Wave Podcast. Uh, Lalo's just, you know, he's struggling just because, you know, it's, it's life. I can't even say the word, bro, which is weird. I mean, it, I mean, think of, say it five times fast. I can't because now I can't even open my mouth to say it. <laughs> do you say I've, lost, say? I've lost all <laughs> skill to <laughs> enunciate words. Ever since you put on the shades, you just like gone. So the bro. Welcome, the last time I did it was welcome. To <laughs> yeah. That was rough, dude. That was bad. Yeah. Had... Let's forget that ever happened. It's all right. I mean, it's on forever. <laughs> <laughs> Never. It's all, yeah, it'll be on the airwaves. Nikki, what are we doing on time? Okay. Well, I mean, I Nick mean, Pache, go ahead and take us out of here, friend. Well, guys, thank you for listening to the Surf Life podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me. Well, everyone, thank you for listening. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, Lalo, uh, I hope you talk. I hope you can talk later. <laughs> <laughs> but, guys, thank you so much. Happy Monday. Um, make sure to put in your comments, though, what do you think the most scariest insect little happy face is? And then, mm-hmm. would you suck an ass to get like to all the secrets if you want? Did you poo in school? Could be relatives. Did you poo in school? Did you. 
did you actually like summer school if you ever went? And then mm. what's your scariest doll? And then let us know if you think you're getting possessed. Call it go to surfacewave at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Hey, hold on. Let's do this one. Oh. When we haven't done it in a while, everybody dress down. You're good to go. 